Today I'm going to make a quick video uh, specifically for people that own a ProSlide XT going over some things that you should probably know if you own one and it'll make your life a little easier. Um, I'm also going to cover how to install a ProSlide as far as getting it on to the mount that is mounted to your mower. So I've had a couple questions recently about how to actually mount the ProSlide and to be honest with you, I had issues the first time I went to do it too, so I understand. And another thing is a lot of people have been asking about this brass piece that is normally right here, but as you can see, it is not on this pro slide and it is working just fine, minus the fact that one of the torsion springs, which I have new torsion springs right here, one of the torsion springs has broke and that is why it's hanging down like this. So it's normally not down like this, it is broken right now. We'll repair it and it'll be back up here out of the way. If it's hanging down here, it can potentially hit your shins and it's not gonna feel good, so you're gonna wanna replace the torsion spring if it breaks. Uh, so if your pro slide is hanging down like this, it's the torsion spring. If you take a look at them, they have two arms on there, on each of them. They are different sizes. If you have an original pro slide, these springs will not fit right here, uh, but these two arms, uh, eventually they're just gonna snap so over time you're gonna have to replace these they will probably last about a year and a half two years a pop uh, but it's just it's just a thin piece of metal so eventually it's gonna break uh, and that is exactly what happened right here and that's why this is like this but if you own a pro slide XT number one you do not need this piece right here this brass piece just causes issues. Nove had to install this piece. If you look at an original pro slide, which is kind of hard to find because they haven't made them in about 20 years, um, you'll notice that this piece is not part of the original design. It was like mandated for safety purposes and it honestly just causes problems. So you can take this piece off or let it fall off and not put it back on and your pro slide is gonna operate just fine. Uh, thanks to Billy. <laughs> we have a good example of what not to do with your wear plate. <laughs> this is worn far too much, so we have a replacement wear plate that we will install. Um, and yeah, so if you stay off of the concrete, this wear plate will last over a year, well over a year. If you ride on sidewalks and driveways when you come to them making your turns like Billy does, you're going to have to probably replace it once or twice a year and it is the most expensive replacement part so i'd recommend just stepping off if you get in the habit of it it's really not that bad and i personally don't feel it slows you down at all uh, so this is the other piece that commonly fails i wouldn't say commonly but this is the piece that you're going to eventually replace on your pro slide the torsion springs i recommend buying the set due to the price and if you did not know, we have all, all these parts and supplies for the Pro Slide, the Pro Slide themselves, and the Go Slide on iGoProLawnSupply.com. It's where you're going to find the best price, and we offer free shipping over 100 bucks. Uh, so, we have the wear plate. If you're riding on concrete, you're going to replace this more often than you should. Uh, these gas springs will eventually lose compression, and you'll have to replace these. And then we have the torsion springs. But I did want to show you uh, these clips on here are a little uh, unique. You know, I haven't ever seen a clip like this anywhere else, so I kind of wanted to explain how these work. You just need to get like a little flathead screwdriver in there, and then you create a little, uh, this is much easier actually when it's installed to something and secured, but this will just pop right out. It'll cooperate for me. See that? You can pop the ball out and leave the clip installed. So if this clip comes out, it is a little bit of a pain to get back in. Um, and then to install the, install the ball, you literally just push on it and it goes right back in. So that to install it when it's everything secured to a, you know, the machine and everything, it's not going anywhere. It's really easy to do and it's much easier to pop out by just wedging a small flathead screwdriver in there or I have some of these little pick things that also work very well. So, getting to installing the ProSlide itself, 
what I like to do is put my knee right here on it. So I have the bulk of the weight of the pro slide on my knee. And then I also secure my hand under here. Well, first, let's get this cotter pin out. Cotter pin out. I'm actually just going to brace my arm on this, support the weight of the pro slide, pull the pin out, and now we're off the unit. So that's as quick and easy as it is to remove the pro slide. And I also want to show you how to get it on. So if we look right here on this piece, uh, another thing to know is this spring should be on the bottom side. I see every now and then the guys are like, my pro slide's not retracting and they send me a picture and this has been flipped around and this shock is up here on the top side. It's not going to work like that. It needs to be down on the bottom side. Um, another pro tip for a pro slide enter is your gas shock, the compression side, is always towards the center. So there's another spring in here. And if you notice, the compression side is towards the center once again. So I always like to take pictures whenever I'm dis disassembling and reassembling something. But an easy way to remember that at the pivot point is where the gas uh, cylinder side goes on these shocks. So that's that. Be careful with that, it snaps back, and if you're not paying attention, it'll get you. So, to install the pro slide, we're gonna do it in reverse order. So I'm just gonna get back in position here. I have my arm under the unit. I'm gonna line this notch up, line this notch up with the bottom left-hand side of my mount. So, bottom left-hand side of the mount, this butts right up against it, and then I'll slide my pin through. So here we go. I got it in there. Put the pin in one side, through the other side. Voila, there we go. Cotter pin, and we're secured back on the unit. So, I hope that clears up how to install the pro slide, um, what it looks like when your torsion springs break. Can you get in here, Billy, and, and show that broken spring right there? So the arm that is broken should be pinned coming across like this. So there's tension on this and pinned down here. So this one gets caught on this little lip. The other one, which is broke, you can see the broken end right there, comes down in here, tension, just like we have over here. We have tension on this arm, tension on this arm. So that's what's going on. And yeah. So hopefully that makes your life a little easier as a pro slide owner, I have a video where I go over all of the repairs. I'll link that in the description, but I don't believe I had a specific video of showing how to mount it or explaining that this brass piece does not need to be here at all. Like, tell them, Billy, don't you prefer that this brass piece not be on the unit? I take it off as soon as I put it on. Yeah, like, Billy. Like, like as soon as I put it on, I reached down there and took it off. <laughs> yeah, Billy like will literally take it off a brand new unit. Yeah. Um, I, I would personally let them fall off. Like, I'll just let them fall off because it's going to fall off eventually and not put it back on. But if it did cause issues, because what will happen is it will come up in here, somewhere up in here, and get, just get caught and jammed, and then your pro slide won't retract, and it's really frustrating. So that's that. Uh, if you have any more questions, please leave them down in the description. Until the next video, keep making money.